Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Razzadels and Marcus playing Kingdom Hearts again. Alright, last episode, we finally got through Deep Jungle after a, a little bit of a schedule change in the way these episodes are going now. Um, each episode is going to be rounded in to about a 30 minute time frame just so I can, you know, pace myself and not waste like a bajillion hours of your time just on one video alone. Because for the most part, like previous episodes, um, have been going well as far as time goes. Like just that one fight with Cerberus, like cost in like an hour. So um, yeah, we're back in good old Traverse Town. Um, there's something that. All right, yeah. We have the Red Trinity now, so we can do that. Just bust some shit open like that. And I think some of you might have seen this chest before, but um, if you haven't, now you have. Oh hey, Dalmatians! Which reminds me... Can I jump over this thing? No. Uh, which reminds me... I need to go to the Dalmatians' house. Luckily, we're already in Traverse Town, so uh, let's pay them a visit, shall we? Actually, what level am I now? Um, what level 20. I'm just curious. That's all. Oh. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. Man, I really should do that before the episode starts. Oh, hey, there are these guys now. Why they are appearing now in Traverse Town, I have no idea, but... These are the Thunder Elementals of, um... Those guys that we encountered before in, uh... Wonderland and... Olympus Coliseum. They shoot out thunder now. Hey, down level up. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. And they're fighting side by side with those fire ones. But we're not going to worry about those yet. We're going to carry on. My wayward son. Those green ones actually heal enemies. I'm not going to bother with those yet. I'm just going to go to the Dalmatian's house. Oh yeah, we get a little cutscene. Oh, look how happy he is! Oh, he looks so cute. Oh, for me? Why? You shouldn't have. Oh man, I'm I'm way more of a dog person than. Oh hey, we got a gummy piece. Um, I forgot what that does. Another gummy piece. Wait, I thought I could spell. Hmm. Huh. I guess I need more. I guess I need to collect more Dalmatians for that, I guess. Oh well, I thought I was gonna get a spell now, but... Later on. So, we're back in Traverse Town- fuck off. We are back in Traverse Town for one thing and one thing only. To put a plug on that butt. Put a butt plug on this world. Bug off. Uh. Oh wait. Uh, we need to go to the alleyway first. Cause I think there's something that we need to do there. Yes, right. So before we go to this one place in particular, we are gonna go to the alleyway because yeah. Uh, that's not the right way. Over here. Yeah, there was a Trinity before that we couldn't really get. Aw oh, man, it really sucks that, like, these yellow guys are here because if they weren't, I'd be using my Thunder spell. Like, seriously, Thunder is probably my most favorite spell in this entire game. Even more than Gravity, which is another spell we learn later on. Oh man. Sorry for spoiling stuff again. It's kind of a habit of mine. But you know, retracing my steps. Oh my god. The thing I hate about these guys is how small they are and how fast they jitter around. Just jittery little turds. 
Okay. I even I don't even know what the trinity mark. Oh, it's right there. It's like every time I pass by that area, I can never like really see where the trinity mark is at. Oh yeah, there's Leon, which is the guy that we need to talk to. Oh, all right. So you found the keyhole. Yep, the keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars has a keyhole, and each one leads to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. Well, one can only assume. What do you mean? It was in Ansem's report. The Heartless enter through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. Yeah, they put their finger in it. Multiple times. Sometimes ten seconds worth of anal, if they so choose. I don't know. I'm not really into that kinky stuff. I'm going to avoid that, <laughs> that joke because that's getting really awkward. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah. We gotta find your friends and King Mickey. I guess you're right. Okay. Wow, he's just going away with his sword. All dumb dilly, huh? Hey, Leon. This gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? Hmm. Ask Sid, he should know. <laughs> Leon's over there still. Mm. I mean, you could ask Sid. Shut up! I'm thinking. Mm. Wait, Sora, take this with you. Obtained Earthshine. This stone holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying it for good luck. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, we're off to see Sid. The wonderful Sid of Trevor's Town. Shut up, I don't have time for you. Need to get to Sid. Oh, that way. Oh, other way. Get up there, very good. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, actually, um, while I'm here, uh, oh, don't go on the roof. While I'm here, we go to the item shop real quick. Cause I think your shop. No, never mind. Never mind. Um, I thought there was like an upgradable item for Donald the Goofy. As far as their weapons are concerned, I mean. Uh, I guess not. Not yet. I feel like I've made, like, a huge amount of progress in this game, but, um... We're not even at the halfway marker yet. What have you got there? Hey! Whoa. It ain't a gummy block. Yup. What's this one for? You're kidding me! You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads, inner space ain't no playground. Oh, okay, so it's not outer space, it's inter space. A whole lot of difference there. There's a lot we don't know, so what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds, we don't have a choice. Whoa, 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 easy there. I didn't know, no harsh feelings, alright. Well, I guess I could lend y'all a hand then. Thanks. 
Basically with navigation gummies you can uh, go to new places or whatever. You want one on your ship, right? I'll install it for you. But I got this thing I gotta go deliver first. It's a port film. It's um it's called anal and it stars a bunch of heartless and they basically take advantage of this one butthole. Yes, just one. Alright, I'm gonna alright. The whole keyhole thing joke that ends there. To help me God if I make another one. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's just a book. It's really it's really old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart, too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a pretty, pretty decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's in the old house past the dirt district. Look for the big fire sign. Well, what was that? Hmm? Oh, the bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Funny how it never went off when we were first here. When you're done, oh, I skipped the thing of dialogue. When you're done, stop by the house in the third. I guess it goes automatically if I don't press the X button. Whatever. You probably already read it anyway. Uh. All right. So to the old house in the third district, huh? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna deliver the book first because I don't know. Cutscene time. Alright, fuck off. Oh, new Heartless. Actually, there's something I could do right here real quick. I actually don't know. We just stop lock- there you go. I don't know exactly know what that do- oh, I know what that does. I'm, gl I'm glad I did it before I went to the gizmo shop. I'm very glad I did that. Cool. Hey, here we are again. Oh, fuck. Here we are in this old raggedy place. Now, I said before that this place is actually pretty unique and special, and I didn't want to mess around with it at first. But, um, hey, now we're here. So, uh, let's check it out. Eh, talk about your fixer upper. Oh, hey Kyrie. Wait a minute, Sora. What the fuck did I tell you about doing drugs? Stop chasing the dragon. Friggin' junkie. Yeah, see, look at that. You see, he's seen some shit again. Well, well. You've arrived sooner than I expected. Hey, it's Merlin. What? You knew we were coming? Of course. Are you a heartless? Why would you... Why would you just ask that? He doesn't look like one. He sure as fuck doesn't look like one. Does he look like one? Does he look all evil? He's, he's a fucking wizard. He has a pointy hat and beard. Looks like... A blue Gandalf. Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. Yeah, as you can see. These guys thought you were heartless at first. I spent much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Down, Goofy. And who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Ah, so you have found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Uh, just a moment. Oh, he's gonna unpack. Presto, that's not what he says. He's, he says, Hockety bockety wockety whack. Abra 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 act. Shrink its eyes, very small. We've got to save enough room for all. Hickey to spring it to spring it to spoon. Press the major tonium. That's what he says. That's exactly what he says. Only, like, I recited the spell where he was packing away stuff, not unpacking. There, now. <laughs> Your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. We can start any time you like. Just let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. 
There's always one more thing, isn't there? Hey, that carriage looks awfully familiar. <laughs> Why, it's the fairy godmother. I wonder where Cinderella is, though. Hello, I'm the fairy godmother. Your king asked me to help, too. I will assist you throughout your journey, although barely. I don't know how much help I can... Uh, eh. I don't know how much of help I could be, uh, but do stop by any time. Up down. Is jumping around all willy nilly again? All right. I'm gonna talk to uh, Fairy Godmother over here because we have something here. The chicken. My world has disappeared too. I'm so worried about Cinder. Um. Hello. I have, the, I have this stone here. I'm so worried about Cinderella. I, I bet you are! Oh wait, do I have to talk to Merlin for... Oh, that book! So, Sid asked you to bring this. Thank you. You wish to know what kind of book it is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book. Hmm, curious, huh? I wonder... Could it star someone named Anastasia? I'm just asking, man. I mean, it's a curious book, after all. I mean, hell, I'm curious. <laughs> Whatever. I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here for now, somewhere. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you feel like. Look at it? Yeah, right. My best regards to Sid to repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours, you should have asked the fairy godmother about that. I already did. I already tried asking her. Did I have to? Mm, I guess I had to talk to you first, huh? Oh, now. Nah, oh, Alright. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem. This little creature lived in the world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart he became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only in spirit. Now watch! Bibbity bobbity boo! Learn the summon spell Simba. To use summon magic, you need three party members in battle. That's it! Three! One of those three. No substitutions, expansions, or refunds. Each summon spell can only be used once per battle. Be careful, you cannot use a summon. Yeah, yeah, you cannot use summon magic while any party member is KO'd. Oh man, that's gonna be tough since these guys are knocking out on me all the time. Summon characters withdraw from battle once they run out of MP. You can also dismiss them sooner by selecting the dismiss command. More info on each summon character is available in Jimmy's journal. Whenever you call, he will help you. Find any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry, when their worlds are restored, they will return there. Sora, Please help save them. Don't worry, I will. Uh, the funny thing about uh, summons... Alright, yeah, I was just... Oh, I guess I was already healed up. Whatever, um... Can I check out this book at least? Cool, I can. So how much time do we got? I, I got enough time, I think. We'll leave uh, the whole Sid matter uh, later on, I guess. Let's just do this first. Hmm. This book actually, uh, looks like a children's book. Hmm. I wonder what book this could be. Hint. It involves a very lovable bear. An empty meadow, take a look, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the empty meadow with uh, a house of sticks. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh, it's Way the Poo Poo. Sink, 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 sink. It's Way the Poo Poo. Oh man, <laughs> I actually grew up with like a lot of stuff 
That was like Winnie the Pooh related as a kid. Uh, I had like several blankets that were Winnie the Pooh. Um, oh man. Does anyone remember that old uh, TV show, uh, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh? It was like so animated and it was part of the Disney Afternoon. Dude, um, I watched like a whole bunch of uh, videotapes of those as a kid. Oh my god. Was that my entire childhood right there in a nutshell? We've only just met. Like, I was seriously like a really huge Pooh fan as a kid. Although I'll have, I, I do have to say right now, I've ne <laughs> I've never read any of the books though. Um, the when we were young book actually made it into an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, which I kind of felt really bad about because knowing the fact that I know like. You know, the animated films and all that, like, oh man. Still, I'm a fan of Pooh anyway. I'm not a huge fan of that 2011 movie though. Kind of, eh. It, it, it falls under like the Hollywood kind of thing where like, you know, they're trying so hard to be like the original, it kind of doesn't have its own identity. It kind of falls under that group. But it's not bad or anything. It's just like, eh. The songs are good though. The songs are really good actually. My tumbling is getting rather rumbly. Um. Oh. Um. Hey, a hundred acre wood. Um. There was this. All right. So, I said before I was a really huge Pooh fan, right? Well, um. That may be a for debate after the story I'm about to tell you. So. Uh, when I was a kid, like, there was this doll I had that was, uh, a giant-ass Winnie the Pooh doll. It must have been, like, oh, man, what was it? It was, like, a three-foot-tall Winnie the Pooh doll. And it was, like, when I was, like, five years old, it was kind of, like, shorter than me, but not that much. Like, that thing was huge, and, like, it had these huge dot eyes on it, and just... Like, whenever I, whenever I would go to bed... Okay, I will. Hey, thank you for the welcoming. But, um... Yeah, whenever I would go to sleep... Um... Sometimes, like, I would... <laughs> I would turn that Winnie the Pooh doll away, because... How I had it set up as a kid, I had this little chair in my room. And my mom would always set this... Three-foot Winnie the Pooh doll on it. And like I said before, it had these really huge dot eyes that, like, no matter where I looked, I always felt like it was always staring at me. And granted, I love Pooh. I, I freaking love Winnie the Pooh. I still watch the movies, actually. Believe it or not. Those are like... Oh yeah, I got an elixir. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry about that, Pooh. But, uh, yeah, there was just something about the eyes that, like... It would always kind of... <laughs> That's a nice little touch. But it's just kind of... I don't know, it was just like really creepy. I mean, like I said before, like I... How... Alright, there's a door. I don't know why... Uh. Let me guess, you like to know what happens next? Um, yeah. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you what. Fuck! Well then. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find? Would you help them find the well, where? Get, get our books. Get pages back. Yeah, I will. But yeah, whenever I would go to sleep, I would always like turn it like so it was like facing the wall. Oh, that's not where I want it. There you go. But oh my god, that Winnie the Pooh doll. Me. And, me and him, we have kind of a love-hate relationship. I mean, since then, like, you know, I gave that doll to... I actually don't know who. It was, it was like, probably, like, one of my mom's friends or whatever. So, oh, there's a trinity right here? We get it. We get it! There you go. But, I don't know. It's just really, like, alright, that's not the first time that's things kind of happened to me. 
where like something around the house actually scared like the bejesus out of me as a kid. Uh, I'm trying to think of like any other because uh, when I was growing up, like there wasn't a whole lot of things that scared me. Um, I mean, granted, there was. There were things that obviously did scare me because, I mean, come on. Everyone's going to be scared of something. But I remember when I was a kid, uh, I was growing up with Nightmare Before Christmas, which still to this day is my favorite movie. Um, mostly because, like, that's the movie that got me interested in... Oh, there's a cutscene here? Oh, no, yeah, I remember now. I'm just gonna hold this story off for a bit. What's going on? But, uh, hey, it's Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? No, it's just been Kyrie that you've been hallucinating Whatever because, you. you know, you got the hots for her. And I don't think Riku is your type to be hallucinating and fantasizing about. Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. Yeah. Finally she probably did. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Damn. It took out that feeble heartless like that. No, seriously, what is there to be proud of in just, like, slaying a Shadow Heartless? That'd be like killing a grunt in Halo. Being proud about that. Who are they? Hey, asshole, and talk. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Damn right. What's that mean? So, this is called a keyblade? Yeah. It's a key and a sword. Yeah, give it back. Catch. Whoa. Okay. So you're coming with us, right? I've always wanted a real life keyblade. Awesome rocket. Wait till you I can see. never afford one. We can't come. What? Forget it. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Riku? Why'd he bail out like that? Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. Yeah, I guess. Maybe we'll run into Kairi soon, too. Wow, what an asshole. Riku just basically dipped out on us for no reason. Other than I have new friends. Let's go in this vacant house right here because... I mean, how would you know to go in here? Yeah, Sid's right there! Like, where? I guess you're not the guy I'm supposed to talk to. You guys ever hear Maleficent? Yeah, I heard it was a shit movie. I hear she's in town. Well, she is. Who is she? A witch, man. She's, she's, she's not a witch. She's a dark fairy. Haven't you ever watched the film? Not the one with Angelina Jolie and Tim Burton, but the, the original, man. Hey. She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her light, lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful. Our ruler was a wise man named Anson. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It was scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. I mean... Why would she want to you collect see, pages? It's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. 
Evidently. Now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as mother and son. But you're not my mother. I can adopt you. I already have parents. And you took them away from me. Whatever. <laughs> so you deliver that book. That navigation gummy is installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy just for the heck of it. Thank you. Because I actually had to take two gummy trips just to get to Traverse Town again. Yes. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. Kind of like the fly ability in Pokemon. Well, I better get back to my real job. As what? A jewelry manager? Oh, never mind. I, I guess that was his real job and that was just part time. I've been thinking about the bell on the second district. Well, yeah, I've been thinking about it too. Like, why the fuck didn't it go off when I was here the first time? That one that rang a bit ago. What other fucking bell, man? The one above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know? But it's all boarded up. No one can get in there. Well, we'll just knock that shit out of the way. Hey, right, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. That's it. Three. One of those trays. No substitutions expected. Oh, perfect timing. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, so we gotta go ring that bell now. Like, we're Quasimodo or something. Although, that actually doesn't come into play until... Dreamed Out Distance? I think it is. Whatever. Anyway, that's about it for today. Well, I'm still gonna be recording stuff, but... Yeah. We'll go ring the bell, bell, bell. And I'll see you all next time, next time, next time. Peace.